1914, Edward Hopper painted Soir Bleu, a work that presents us with an enigmatic clown seated among the crowd. Hopper, known as the painter of solitude and eternal waiting, leaves us with an intriguing question. Who is this mysterious clown? There are several theories about his identity, but the most accepted one suggests it could be a self-portrait of Hopper himself. This detail leads us to wonder, why would he see himself as a clown in such an unsettling scene? In this video, we will analyze the context in which Hopper created this work and explore the difficult, personal and professional situation that led him to this vision of himself. We will delve into the artist's psychological universe, unraveling the enigmas and hidden stories in his brushstrokes. Let us begin. Associating the American realist painter Edward Hopper with urban loneliness is not a new idea. In fact, Hopper disliked it when his paintings were exaggeratedly referred to as portraying the theme of loneliness. Hopper's realism can be described as unsettling, minimalist or isolated, defined more by what it omits than by what it shows. His paintings depict spaces, both exterior and interior, that are geometric in architecture and cold in their apparent simplicity. However, he infuses these spaces with an unsettling emotiveness that reflects complexity, evokes a sense of emptiness and provokes profound melancholy. Hopper emphasized the importance of exploring the artist's inner life over the external manifestation of the human condition. The elements present or absent in his paintings invite the viewer to find meaning in the image, to construct a narrative within the frame provided by the artist. This creates a space where the artist's and viewer's inner experiences can intertwine, generating a sense of identification with an other that transcends both observer and creator. Hopper himself led a life of loneliness, tormented by the horrors of war and marital turbulence. When we think of Edward Hopper's paintings, we think of disconnection. We imagine figures in isolation, people and places positioned at a distance from the artist and the viewer, and whispers of silent loneliness. Hopper's works evoke a sense of identification with a distant other separate from both the painter and the viewer. Contemplating Hopper's paintings becomes an exercise that leads us to reflect on the human condition trapped within the depicted reality, becoming an analysis of the theme of loneliness. Edward Hopper reflects the emptiness of human life and general suffering, as well as the apathy of human existence by portraying a faithful image of society. In his 1941 painting, one of his most famous works, at first glance, it depicts a small group of quite lonely individuals. What is intriguing about Nighthawks, however, is the perspective. The viewer realises that the loneliest in this context is indeed themselves, standing outside the bar, in the darkness, observing the strangers from across the street. The surface of the painting acts as a window, showing us what the artist has placed beyond our visual reach. This feature makes the painting reflect reality, allowing the viewer to see themselves from the perspective of the artwork. Thus, when contemplating Hopper's paintings, we engage in an exploration of the human condition and a reflection on our own existence. The way Hopper's paintings play with spatial perception can be understood as if they were mirrors or reflections, creating a unique experience for the observer. For example, in office in a small city, the presence or absence of glass can confuse the viewer. This spatial play encapsulates a duality between the viewer's presence and that of the artist, leaving the other trapped in these uncertain spaces as evidenced by the shadows and lights in the work. The figures in Hopper's paintings seem detached from the soul, as if they were raw elements arranged on a canvas. This dismemberment allows the viewer to reconstruct the work in their own way, connecting the signs of life present in the image with their own inner world. Thus, the painting becomes a reflection of both the artist and the observer, generating a duality between the represented reality and the viewer's perception. 
Knowing Hopper's style and what he sought to portray in his paintings, I would like to analyse Soir Bleu with you, which in my opinion is one of the most unsettling, since, as I have already mentioned, the artist himself holds us responsible for giving meaning to the characters in his paintings, searching within ourselves. Who is this sad clown smoking while being lightly observed by the crowd? But, before answering this question, I want to remind you that you can have this painting and the others you've seen throughout this video in your home by purchasing from our website. In this catalogue, you'll find a selection of artworks curated by me so you can have them in your home or protect your phone with them as a case. If you've made it to this point in the video, it's because you're interested in the world of art, so I invite you to visit the website once you finish watching the video. I'm sure you'll want to have a painting like this in your home. Shipping is completely free, so don't hesitate to order your favourite artwork. The link will be in the video description. And thanks to everyone who has purchased and shared their photos with me, you make it possible to create these kinds of videos. Now, let's continue. Soir Bleu is a haunting piece of art. Firstly, the class barriers are evident. There's a flamboyantly dressed woman, a clown, artists, and a tuxedoed man. Secondly, nobody is conversing, except for the second and third men, and even then, their dialogue is only inferred from the third man's head position. The person on the far left has their lips parted as if saying something, but it could simply be to hold their cigarette. The figures in the painting tell a singular story, the story of absences. It's not what Hopper has included that's important, but what he has omitted. What is the man on the left doing? Is he talking to someone? Who? Why is nobody making eye contact? The characters inhabiting the painting seem to be waiting for answers too. An endless waiting. Edward Hopper's career anxiety manifests in the form of a sad clown smoking a cigarette. The piece was painted in 1914, four years after his last trip to Paris, so this painting was created during a period of professional disillusionment for Hopper. The artwork offers a glimpse of Parisian life from an outsider's perspective. Unlike most of his other works depicting urban or rural landscapes, Soir Bleu focuses more on human subjects who all seem to be French but are very different from one another. Hopper visited Paris during a time of optimism, peace and economic prosperity. Despite this, there's a distinct sense of melancholy and sadness that pervades his painting. Or perhaps it's the calm before the impending doom and destruction that will come with the onset of World War I. At the heart of this painting, we find a solitary, enigmatic and sorrowful clown standing out amid the hustle and bustle of a Parisian terrace. This figure, which some critics suggest could be a self-portrait of Hopper, seems to encapsulate the artist's perception of loneliness and distress. The clown, with his face painted white and a gaze lost in the distance, seems to be in his own world despite the presence of other figures around him. This sense of isolation resonates with one of the recurring themes in Hopper's work, loneliness amidst the crowd. Through the clown's expression and detached posture, Hopper invites us to reflect on the disconnect and hopelessness that may reside within each individual, even in an ostensibly social setting. However, the interpretation of the clown is not limited solely to being a reflection of Hopper's personal experience. Some critics argue that the clown may also represent the viewer themselves. As we contemplate the artwork, we find ourselves ensnared in the same atmosphere of melancholy that surrounds the clown, sharing in his sense of isolation and vulnerability. This duality in the interpretation of the clown invites us to consider not only the artist's internal experience, but also our own relationship with art and the world around us. What do you think? Is this clown a self-portrait? Or perhaps it's the mirror we spoke of earlier through which we reflect ourselves, Leave your thoughts in the comments. Moreover, the choice of the clown as the central figure in Soir Bleu could have deeper symbolic connotations. Traditionally, the clown has been seen as a figure who conceals their true emotions behind a mask of joy and entertainment. In this context, Hopper's clown could be interpreted as a symbol of the internal struggle between the external facade we present to the world and the complex emotions that lie within us. And that's it for today's video. It's been a pleasure for me to have been able to make a video about this wonderful artist and to share with you something as interesting as the meaning behind this painting. 
I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe so you won't miss the next video. Remember to visit inspiragio.com and purchase the perfect painting for your home. You'll find the link in the description and don't forget to follow me on my social media where I'll be posting more content about art. See you in the next video. Bye.